Yes. Today begins a new order. Your lands, your possessions, your very lives will gladly be given in tribute to me. In return for your obedience, you will enjoy my generous protection. In other words, you will be allowed to live. Yeah. Freedom's been overthrown by skull and bone scrolling key lunatics Upside down crucifix on they rosary It's the home of the brave land of the supposed free And trilateral commission expeditions overseas Opposing me's a socially accepted secret known to me The Jason group mistakes the truth as its golden fleeks Am I supposed to believe Masons who have a mixture of Satan and Catholic scripture Trading some gas to Hitler? Should I believe when your forefathers jack the ripper And you worship statues in the forest and practice Wicca? I've seen it unfold Summer season, reading a scroll Translating Mason, speaking in code at Bohemian Grove Prince Bernard of the Netherlands left some evidence And the Bilderberg shows our presidents ever since Veteran Illuminati invaded the Scottish Rite Denounced God and Christ, worship man and forgot the light So I gotta fight, cause I don't care how it sounds The CIA planted C4 to bring the towers down Planes hit, a weapons born, tracking us with echelon When video exists of a missile hitting the Pentagon What a masterpiece, the past repeats, it's never gone on in daddy's footsteps, Junior reenacts desert storm Like let's get it on, act righteous, cause a fast crisis Double gas prices, and blame the fact we tax hyped it But observing optics can see through a vermin's logic To just turn a profit and fatten Halliburton's pockets Making Satan's fire lakes out a higher place So this time I break, there's only so much I can take Here's the truth, we the people have been seeing your attempts And realize we the ones you declared war against Here's the truth, I refuse to have you controlling me With my faith in a bunch Bunch of snakes, I just don't believe. Here's the truth: we the people have been seeing your attempts and realize we the ones you declared war against. Here's the truth: I refuse to have you controlling me with my faith in a bunch of snakes. I just don't believe. The Holy Roman crown is sacred, and it seems the house of David left black nobility and Jesus somehow related. Black don't refer to the color of these cowards' faces. The powder pasted skin makes them the proudest racist. Illuminated lineage of lonely chromosomes, known for seeking the return of the Holy Roman. And throne. Committee of 300 calling shots close to home Tapping in your mobile phones, matching up your vocal tones It's your darkest belief started with Harvard's elite And Yale's fraternal orders marketing the market of beasts Deceiving as a demon playing the part of a priest Hadsburgs causing famine while we starve in the streets Old school psychology facing fate of numerology The newest colony and Lucifer's future prophecy An aristocracy with souls in the devil's hands An architecture plan, city streets designed as pentagrams Hitting Hands on every inch of this blessed land of every chip GPS attached to your genetic strands But I'll be damned if I allow some coward to drown me In the powers he proudly learned from Alistair Crowley Cause out of my county on the turnpike word life There's Nazi propaganda promoting Bush's third right Turn right at the left wing and find these cult leaders Then expose FEMA before you take the fall like cold Seavers No Geneva Convention peace treaty will be safe When the elite make a one world government police state I know y'all relate and even I hope I hope I'm wrong, but I know I'm not, cause I know what the is going on. Here's the truth, we the people have been seeing your attempts and realize we the ones you declared war against. Here's the truth, I refuse to have you controlling me with my faith in a bunch of snakes I just don't believe. Here's the truth, we the people have been seeing your attempts and realize we the ones you declared war against. Here's the truth, I refuse to have you controlling me with my faith in a bunch of snakes I just don't believe. No society wants you to become wise. It is against the investment of all societies. If people are wise, they cannot be exploited. If they are intelligent, they cannot be subjugated. They cannot be forced in a mechanical life to live like robots they will assert they will assert their individuality they will have the fragrance of rebellion around them 
they would like to live in freedom. Freedom comes with wisdom and no society wants people to be free. The communist society, the fascist society, the capitalist society, the Hindu, the Mohammedan, the Christian, no society. Because the moment they start using their intelligence, they become dangerous. Dangerous to the establishment. Dangerous to the people who are in power. Dangerous to the haves. Dangerous to all kinds of oppression, exploitation, suppression. Dangerous to the churches. Dangerous to the states. Dangerous to the nations. In fact, a wise man is a fire, a light, a flame. But he cannot sell his life. He cannot serve them. He would like rather to die than to be an slave. At its core, Agenda 21 is about control. Control of the land, natural resources, and entire populations. It seeks to control the air by regulation of carbon emissions, the ground by sustainable development, and the sea through environmental regulations. Officially stated, Agenda 21 is a comprehensive plan of action to be taken globally, nationally, and locally by organizations of the United Nations system, governments, and major groups in every area in which human impacts on the environment. Because being human will always have an impact on the environment, Agenda 21 paves the way for extraordinary UN control. When you boil it down, there are nine basic tenets of Agenda 21. Move citizens off private land and into urban housing. Create vast wilderness spaces inhabited by large carnivores. Eliminate cars and create walkable cities. Support chosen private businesses with public funds for sustainable development. Make policy decisions that favor the greater good over individuals. Drastically reduce the use of power, water, and anything else that creates carbon pollution. Use bureaucracies to make sweeping decisions outside of democratic processes. Increase taxes, fees, and regulations. And finally, implement policies meant to incentivize a reduced population. Not doing it will be catastrophic. We'll have eight degrees, we'll be eight degrees hotter in 10, not 10, but in 30 or 40 years, and basically none of the crops will grow, most of the people will have died, and the rest of us will be cannibals, civilization will have broken down, what, the few people who are left will be living in a, in, in a failed state like Somalia or Sudan, and, and living conditions will be intolerable, the droughts will be so bad, there'll be no more corn growing, it, it will, the, the, not doing it is suicide, just like dropping bombs on each other, nuclear weapons is suicide. So we've got to stop doing the two suicidal things, which are nuclear hanging on to our and, nuclear and, weapons. And global and, and then after that, we've got, to, we've got to stabilize the population. When I was born, no, there were So too, what's wrong with the population? I mean... With too many people. That's, what, that's why we have global warming. We have global warming because too many people are using too much stuff. But if there were less people, they'd be using less but stuff. It, Mr. Turner, um, I was wondering if you think... It's a good idea to reduce 90% of the population because no. we are being overpopulated by a lot of... 90%. 80? Prince Philip said 80, sir. Uh, I go with 85. I think 2 billion is about right. Right, me too. Thank One you. Child exactly. One child policy. <laughs> and then the big political and economic question of the 21st century will be what do we need humans for? Or at least, what do we need so many humans for? Do you have an answer in the book? Um, at present, the best guess we have is uh, keep them happy with drugs and computer games. And we call this the metaverse. What you guys do in here? Pretty much yeah. everything that you would do in the real world. Or at least, what do we need so many humans for? Would constitute a new useless class 
when I say that these are useless humans, it's not from the viewpoint of the mother, of the wife, or the, or the son. Or at least, what do we need so many humans for? What we have seen so far, it's corporations and governments collecting data about where we go, who we meet, what movies we watch. The next phase is the surveillance going under our skin. Ah. We now see mass surveillance systems established even in democratic countries, which previously rejected them. And we also see a change in the nature of surveillance. Previously, surveillance was mainly above the skin. Now it's going under the skin. Governments want to know not just where we go or who we meet. Above all, they want to know what is happening under our skin. What's our body temperature? What's our blood pressure? What, what is our medical condition? You know, the, the whole idea that humans have, you know, this, they, they have this soul or spirit and they have free will and nobody knows what's happening inside me. So whatever I choose, whether in the election or whether in the supermarket, this is my free will, that's over. I mean, all this story about Jesus rising from the dead and being the son of God, this is fake news. Agenda 21 is kind of a code name for a master plan originated at the United Nations to change the political and economic system of the world to one of total collectivism. And in order to do that, people must not be allowed to have independence. They must be dependent on the state for everything. Otherwise, they won't... They won't be easily controlled by the state. That means they can't have private property, mostly. They cannot have land of their own. They have to live in, preferably, high-rise apartments uh, that are provided to them by the state as a benefit, so to speak. Oh, good, we got a free apartment. But they want, these people at the top want all humans to be dependent on the largesse of the state. That means that they don't want anybody living out in the boonies. Anybody that's got a couple of acres of land and his own water supply and can grow his own food and that kind of thing, or have some sheep or some chickens, these people are a threat to the collectivist society because they aren't going to go to the politicians and say, please feed me, please clothe me, please give me shelter. They tend to be independent. That's the secret behind Agenda 21. They want people out of the country. They want corporations out there growing all the food and that kind of thing, but they don't want anybody living out there because that way they cannot be controlled. In order to control mankind, we have to get them all into the big cities. We have to rack them up and stack them up, get them dependent on the state for their food, their shelter, their electrical power, their water, everything. That's the dirty secret behind Agenda 21. The United Nations, an unaccountable, unelected cabal of globalists who are bent on establishing a world government, is affiliated with an openly satanic publishing house known as Lucis Trust. Established in 1922 by Satan-worshipping occultist Alice Bailey, who married 33-degree Freemason Foster Bailey, Lucis Trust prints UN material and acts as a non-profit service organization. Its website states, quote, The Lucis Trust has consultative status with the Economic and Social Council of the United Nations. Originally, the Lucifer Trust Publishing Company was founded to disseminate the work of Bailey, Madame Blavatsky, and the Theosophical Society. After communicating with a demonic being who instructed Bailey to quote, prepare men for the reappearance of the Christ, she made it her mission to prepare the masses for the coming Antichrist. Bailey's New Age teachings imply that there's no singular path to quote, the light, but that everyone has a pathway to her lowercase g God, no matter what religion you subscribe to. In Bailey's book entitled Education for a New Age, she suggests that in the New Age, quote, world citizenship should be the goal of the enlightened. 
with a world federation and a world brain. With that in mind, we can now see why Lucis Trust has an affiliation with the UN. The United Nations has long been at the forefront of the Devil's Coming New World Order, which is based on satanic occult and Freemasonic principles. Here's a question. Why is it so difficult for people to believe the wonderful truth of the gospel when it's good news? Why is it so easy for unconverted people to believe lies? Jesus gave the answer. It's not about the methodology or the technique or how we present the truth. Here's the problem. In the eighth chapter of John, our Lord said this, by the way, to religious leaders, but he was speaking to all people apart from God. He said this, because I tell you the truth, you do not believe me. And then he told them why. It's because you're of your father, the devil, who is a liar from the beginning and the father of lies. In the 60 seconds I have remaining with you, sir, I'd like to ask you, we talk so much about this on a macro level. How about on a micro, on a day-to-day -day basis? How can we, you know, black, white, whatever, improve this? Well, I, I, honestly, I think I, I point to it in the very last paragraph that I read, and, and I'm encouraged because things aren't the way they used to be. You know, we all have grandparents that, that told us how things were. We've all seen documentaries. We are definitely making progress, but I think on an individual, on a, uh, on a micro level, the issue is not really skin. The issue is sin. And I, I firmly believe that the issue is that internally we are flawed, internally we need salvation from our sin. Internally, our sin makes us prideful. It makes us judgmental. It makes us prejudiced, which leads to racism. It makes us lash out at people that don't look like us. It makes us look past, look past evidence to protect people that look like us. It, it makes us do all those things. It makes us lash out in anger. It makes us point finger. It, 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 it makes wow. us, our sin that's in us makes us do those things. And the only, the only salvation for this sin is the gospel. The only way to really cure that was on the inside is understanding that Jesus Christ died for our sins. And so th to me, on a micro level, it's understanding. It. Oh, and just like that, we lost him. I know, I heard you guys rapping me. I just couldn't let him go. Benjamin Watson, thank you so much. Good luck at the game Sunday. I'm Brooke Baldwin. See you Monday. Jim Shudo, up next. <laughs> is this, does it work? Yep. Yeah. Um, wow. First off, to all my fans, you gotta say go dogs. <laughs> um, and then second, I gotta thank uh, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. <laughs> this day means so much more than than putting on this green jacket. In many ways. All right, so a uh, technical glitch there from Augusta National, but we will bring you much more of uh, Bubba Watson, obviously an emotional scene. We saw it, Max, not only after he, he won the championship and, and, and hugging his caddy and his mom came out on the green, but good friends of his around the green. It was a very, very emotional scene for Bubba Watson. Look, there's something profound and deep in the heart of every unconverted person. And it is this. They are in the kingdom of darkness. They are cut off from the life of God. They are alienated from God. They cannot understand the things of God. They are foolishness to them. They eagerly believe lies because their father is the liar. And when the truth is spoken, the default position is going to be to reject the truth. That means that the only way they will ever be able to accept the truth is if God, in his power, changes the condition of their heart. And that's what the Bible calls regeneration. 
God, the Holy Spirit, has to give life to the dead, sight to the blind, understanding to the ignorant. That's a divine miracle. And when the Spirit of God does that and they hear the truth, then they are awakened to believe. But Scripture is very clear. We should not expect unbelievers to love the truth. If I were the devil, if I were the prince of darkness, I'd want to engulf the whole world in darkness. And I'd have a third of its real estate and four-fifths of its population, but I wouldn't be happy until I had seized the ripest apple on the tree, the. So I'd set about however necessary to take over the United States. I'd subvert the churches first. I'd begin with a campaign of whispers. With the wisdom of a serpent, I would whisper to you as I whispered to Eve, do as you please. To the young, I would whisper that the Bible is a myth. I would convince them that man created God instead of the other way around. I would confide that what's bad is good and what's good is square. And the old I would teach to pray after me, our Father, which art in Washington. And then I'd get organized. I'd educate authors in how to make lurid literature exciting so that anything else would appear dull and uninteresting. I'd threaten TV with dirtier movies and vice versa. I'd peddle narcotics to whom I could. I'd sell alcohol to ladies and gentlemen of distinction. I'd tranquilize the rest with bills. If I were the devil, I'd soon have families at war with themselves, churches at war with themselves, and nations at war with themselves until each in its turn was consumed. And with promises of higher ratings, I'd have mesmerizing media fanning the flames. If I were the devil, I would encourage schools to refine young intellects, but neglect to discipline emotions, just let those run wild. Until before you knew it, you'd have to have drug-sniffing dogs and metal detectors at every schoolhouse door. Within a decade, I'd have prisons overflowing. I'd have judges promoting pornography. Soon I could evict God from the courthouse, then from the schoolhouse, and then from the houses of Congress. And in his own churches, I would substitute psychology for religion and deify science. I would lure priests and pastors into misusing boys and girls and church money. If I were the devil, I'd make the symbol of Easter an egg and the symbol of Christmas a bottle. If I were the devil, I'd take from those who have and give to those who wanted until I had killed the incentive of the ambitious. What'll you bet? I couldn't get whole states to promote gambling as the way to get rich. I would caution against extremes in hard work, in patriotism, in moral conduct. I would convince the young that marriage is old fashioned, that swinging is more fun, that what you see on TV is the way to be. And thus I could undress you in public and I could lure you into bed with diseases for which there is no cure. In other words, if I were the devil, I'd just keep right on doing what he's doing.
ago an accident exploded And you're the result of this cosmic unknown With no real purpose created for no real intent The reason for your living is just coincidence So all that remains is what you can gain Whatever meaning you attach to your days you decide Self-worth to the salary you're paid Be a slave to your property Your jewelry, your cars and things Advertise that lie up on the TV So you want that bling Selling bit by bit The little pieces of your soul Climbing up the ladder Of economic control Oh, oh the greed of man Makes it so easy to pervert The father's plan Or I'll tell you There is a heaven Ways to get in. Keep you so confused that you stay back to your sin Tell you there are many ways to the same God Keep you distracted with your methods so your heart stays hard I'll make you think you've got